so what's up guys this is Anara Chaudhary back again with one another tutorial and in this video we will learn how to texture our terrain uh, from a software made like a world creator or somewhat world machine I have imported the terrain from world creator uh, if you want to know how I exported it uh, it's simple it's export button I think so and just export the terrain without flipping nothing no axis flip but when you are importing the uh, splat exporting the splat map from the terrain means i will say the world creator i uh, you must see that it is flipped to x and then it is exported in latin indian in 16 bit and for unreal engine and you can see this is called a splat map it's the option is there about splat map when you are exporting textures so we will learn how to make the materials so first we will make one material in my material folder material name it Uh, terrain mat and I must show you how to import it <laughs> terrain in Unreal Engine Go to landscape and you will see add terrain and import from file as I have imported it already So no offense and we will open the terrain dot mat and now you have to assign it So I will go to the landscape in our world outliner uh, You will see there the landscape material and we will drag the terrain mat and hence we are here uh, it's uh, why it is compiling series I don't know because I have not ma made the material yet so let's start and yes let's drag it over there and I have the albedos of all my terrain so I wanna need the rocky ground then I need the ground grass and the ground Caribbean. I have applied three textures. You can apply it more, but for now only I have applied three. So let's arrange them. This is the ground grass up. Then it's our mountain material and it's our shore material so it is in order and let's comment it albedo now go for the normal map this we have added And the third one is a rocky one, and here we imported. So let's make it in order. It will be the second one. This is the first one, and this is the last one in order comment it name it normal made so now we need landscape coordinates so that we can blend our landscape map to our textures so landscape coordinate or landscape chords where it is yes so here is our chords now just it's easy drag the pin and just add it to the UVs it must be done to all our textures all in our UVs then 
uh, to our mapping scale it's depend on you that how much it will be our mapping scale if we give 10 then our ground texture will be too big and if a man lands there so we can see some big grasses so we don't want that I will suppose I will give 2 or 1 but it also means that you are making the engine somewhat heavy because it is rendering too much and uh, we want this again so control C V so this will contain our splat map so let's import our splat map splat map importing now in my engine it's problematic because when I export it in normal without flipping also the textures it becomes a problem but as I told you earlier how to export it in my case for our landscape coordinates for our splat map mapping scale will be our terrain size 4036 somewhat I think 4096 and our rotation I figured it out it's one in one minus 180 so it's different for other you can try it you can only don't mess with the mapping scale if your turn is 8 km and 8 km then turns into 8192 but as my is 4 km 4 km 414096 don't mess with it but mess with this mapping rotation this you need so it's my case it's minus 180 and change it if you see that the material are not matching with the locations so done uh, we are settled with our things and now it's time for a little bit noting somewhat so let's add lerp there's another function called layer blend but it may not work in my case it's, it's a bug for me so I've using a lerp or we can say linear interpolation here it is under maths so first you have to know what is this uh, it blends A to B means it interpolates from A to B it none of you matter the B will be our textures and A is the, our resultant one so like this we will catch our texture sample from the first node to B and we will copy it two times suppose Her one, her one, and as I have told you, A is our resulted one, so A will come from here, and our B will be again this texture. Again, our A will come from here, and B will our texture, and just copy it and same as for normal B V will be our sample and the resultant one we have to go for the base color which is our resultant and in normal our resultant one will be our go to normal oh done so now we need to figure out the splat map means for our map it will arrange the textures for that and now in the splat map you could see means in world creator i have seen that this green thingy is my shores means the second one i have arranged so just drag the green node and drag it to the alpha of the second one also for the normals then my red is my grass so it will go for the alpha first one and if you can see the blue one is our mountains so last one so it's done so let's save it
so it's ready and let's see it is baking the shaders and let's wait for a minute It is taking too much time. I support. I think I am recording, so it's happening. And if you think that it's lagging, so go to the settings and in the preview rendering material quality to low, engine to low and the preview reader it's my shader model 5 i'm using so it's shader model 5 it's no up and now it is still just exploring nothing else only two shaders left and now it's auto saving means what to say now and now it's our train is ready and you can see it is applied to our locations and if you think that it's too much shiny add one constant and it is always zero for our roughness and specular and I think the terrain is too much big for I have applied it from work creator fork e but I have given another so another resolution I suppose So again is compiling shaders means shaders are my biggest problematic things shaders 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 I have a 8 GB RAM and a 2 GB graphics card rig but still Android engine lags in my computer I think the big landmass is causing the trouble Then you can see the material here. So, this is our graph small graph, rather, a simple material graph for our landscape. So yes, it works. I have my landscape fixed with our mountains colored and textures with two islands here and there. So thank you guys and have a nice day ahead. Uh, let's do some fun. Some 
oh it's looking realistically good and I like it somewhat here big oh yes so it's looking good and our landscape is ready thank you guys and have a nice day ahead